I've compiled 100 Apex Legends tips and tricks and put them all in this one video. The tips range from beginner all the way up to professional level. So there's guaranteed to be something here to improve your game. From general advice to settings, unique tricks, and secret techniques you never knew before. We will cover it all in this video on 100 tips and tricks in Apex Legends. If there are any specific tricks I missed in this video, comment them down below. And without further ado, tip number one. Each weapon has its own max headshot range, meaning that if you are further than that specified range, you do not receive the headshot multiplier. Some weapons have a long range where they can get a headshot. For example, the Flatlines range is around 225 meters, while the Spitfires range is only 43 meters. Get a rough feeling for each headshot range on your favorite weapon so you know if it's worth aiming for the head or not. Prioritize big heals, such as Phoenix kits, shield batteries, and med kits. These healing options are much faster than if you were to use shield cells and syringes. If we take a look at the health and shield wheel, we see that popping a shield battery is fast faster than popping two shield cells. If you have taken more than 25 damage, then using a shield battery is faster than using cells. This is the exact same concept for medkits and syringes. If we take a look at the perk of the gold knockdown shield, it says, you revive squad mates with bonus shields and health. You always want to give this to the player on the squad that has the highest probability of reviving someone. Usually, this would either be the Gibraltar, Lifeline, Mirage, or Newcastle, but some other legends have their own abilities that can help in reviving teammates as well. Turn up your brightness to see dark corners of the map. With low brightness, you won't be able to see enemies hiding in areas with shadows. If we turn it up, those areas are much easier to see. I recommend keeping your brightness around 75%. If you go to your settings and set streamer mode to all, then in the feed at the top right of your screen, it will indicate the legends names rather than the player ids this is super helpful because it lets you know which legends are knocked and which legends are still alive learn the different loot spawns around the map every single match there will be similar loot in similar locations for example i know that there is almost guaranteed to be a weapon in the main floor of this building so i tend to drop here so i know i don't have to be running around the map searching for a weapon don't underestimate hip firing in apex legends it could be a bad habit to always ads because your movement speed is slower than when you're hip firing. Try hip firing more often and you will see just how strong it can be. Don't bother using octane stim before using a jump pad. You will go the exact same distance and speed whether you're using your stim or not when going onto a jump pad. The only thing that really happens if you use your stim is you lose that chunk of HP. Throw abilities through windows to catch enemies off guard. As you see in this clip, I throw my caustic gas into the building through the windows and the enemies are forced to either take the damage from the gas or walk straight into my line of fire. Crouch to instantly unhook from a zipline. This is better than jumping because you won't spend as much time in the air where enemies can get free shots off onto you. This works on both vertical ziplines, horizontal ziplines, and zip rails. Close doors whenever a wraith that is into the void is trying to escape. She won't be able to open it up until her tactical is finished, allowing you to easily knock her. A lot of players know the EVA 8 is automatic, considering it is called the EVA 8 auto, but a lot of players don't know that the Mozambique is also automatic. Hold down left click or your right trigger with these two shots guns and you will deal a surprising amount of damage. You can actually make the bots in the firing range move and shoot back at you. To activate this, go to the cave in the top right of the firing range. Make sure you drop everything in your inventory. Then go up to the ledge inside the cave. I recommend playing Pathfinder for this. Then crouch and look down in the middle of this platform. Switch to any other legend and then the bots are activated. If you do get stuck like me, just switch legends and you should be freed. Then you can slide down and warm up with the moving bots. Block off doors with legend abilities, such as Caustic's Gas Traps, Watson's Interceptor Pylon, Loba's Black Market, or Rampart's Amp Cover. Enemies will be forced to kick down the door or find another way in. Shoot downed enemies to get additional damage towards your 2k, 2.5k, 3k, and 4k badges. But do keep in mind that the damage you do on a player that is already knocked down does not count towards your evil shield. If you are ever getting punched out off drop, hold crouch and you will slide out of the enemy's melee range. When you are flying in from the dropship, hit an object in the sky to start freefall. This will allow you to hit the ground quicker and get the loot before your enemies. Use a throwable to mask the audio of you reviving your teammates. I prefer using thermites for this just because the audio lasts longer. However, grenades, arc stars, and legend abilities work as well as long as you time the revive properly. Open up your 
your inventory and in the bottom left you can see what ammo types your teammates are using this comes in handy because you shouldn't all use the same ammo type in a match as you will inevitably run out go to your settings and switch your reticle color to as dark of a red as possible this isn't for everyone but i prefer it as it makes the reticle much less distracting so you can line up those important shots there's a little indicator with a person holding up their hand this means that a player on your team needs this item so you should always ping it to be a helpful teammate typically the sentinel requires two shield cells to charge but if you have gold armor then it only requires one cell making it the perfect combo crouch walk to be invisible to sears exhibit at least until you're able to destroy it and then take out the enemies do a finisher on your opponent to recharge your shields without wasting any cells or batteries keep in mind it only recharges shields and not your health hide good loot you don't want your enemies to find or even better throw it off the map completely if you or your teammates ping that there's an enemy but you don't ping the enemy the text will be white and if your teammates or you ping the enemy themselves the text will be red test out all the weapons and legend abilities in the firing range so you know exactly what to expect when you get into a match shoot the flyers in the sky on king's canyon or storm point to level up your evo shield just please ask for forgiveness afterwards don't melee during a fight unless absolutely necessary it tends to miss and get you eliminated far too often heat shields work vertically so if you place it at the top of a cliff or a building then go underneath you will be protected from any zone damage play aggressively as when you do you will catch enemies off guard most players also play much much worse when they're put under pressure so if you play fast and aggressive they will make plenty of mistakes and that's one of the reasons why when you watch pro players everyone they play against looks terrible because they're playing fast and aggressive which forces them to make mistakes you can use loba's black market to get more than just two items all you need to do is ping the item you want then leave the black market and hold your ping input while looking at that item then there will be a white line sticking out Follow that white line and you will find the item you were looking for. Look for alternate routes to locations, whether it is scaling a building or just using a unique trick like I did here. Every legend has a different sized hitbox, so learn yours and play according to it. If you punch in front of a jump pad without moving your left thumbstick or clicking W, A, S, or D, you will go straight up into the sky. Use this trick to avoid damage on the ground and pull off some crazy plays. If you reload with one bullet left in your magazine, you will reload faster than if you were to reload with no ammo left. This can be difficult to pull off with automatic weapons, however with single fire or burst weapons you can reload early, fairly easily, and decrease that reload time. During an intense battle, don't waste your time regenerating your shield. Instead, finish a down player and swap to their armor to quickly have full shield. Melee your teammates while they are knocked to move them to a safe location to revive. You can also punch your teammates into the ring so you and your teammates don't take extra damage from being outside of the ring. If you place Rampart Shield and charge up a Sentinel, you can deal 212 damage with a single headshot. That is pretty much a cray bro without needing to pull it out of a care package. If the enemy has a purple or gold, gold helmet it deals 191 damage which is a one shot to blue armor and nearly a one shot to purple this is a bit of a fun one you can throw legend abilities off of octane's jump pad not sure how useful it would be but it'd be entertaining to see someone make a play out of this learn hiding spots on each map so you can get the jump on the enemy and catch them off guard this trick will help you finish a down player if they're good at blocking you with their knockdown shield all you need to do is start a finisher then quickly cancel it and you can shoot their down body without them expecting it always warm up before hopping into a match it will ensure that you are performing at the best of your ability you can use the trick i mentioned earlier to make the bots move or you could just go back and forth on these standing still targets you can tell the difference between a lifeline package and a game care package from afar lifelines package will emit a blue light beam above it while the game care package will emit an orange colored light beam from it you can cancel most legends tactical abilities by switching weapons but for some legends they allow you to swap weapons while using their tactical such as bangalore with her smoke launcher or mad maggie with her drill for these legends hit melee to cancel the tactical start reviving your teammates then instantly cancel it this will set off the audio cue and bait your enemies into pushing open up your inventory to see what level helmets armor knockdown shield and backpacks your teammates have you could also open up your inventory and in the top right go over to legend and this will allow you to see all of your legends abilities in case you forget something in the middle of a map drop a like and subscribe if you are enjoying this video as these these 100 tips and tricks videos take quite a long time to make. Randomly shoot into the sky and into your teammates with both of your weapons. This will bait enemies into pushing you because they think you are low from another team fight. And you would be surprised at how many squads 
I have been easily able to take out using this trick against them. Remember to get your free daily treasure pack so you can unlock the free rewards before the season ends. Use cover whenever possible in Apex Legends. The less of your hitbox that is visible, the harder it will be for enemies to hit their shots. If you want to craft ammo for one of your weapons, but you have a second weapon equipped, drop that second weapon, then you can craft that one ammo type you want. This also uses half the crafting material, so it's perfect if you are running low on materials. Try to maintain high ground whenever possible. It is much easier to win a 1v1 when you are shooting down on the enemies and they have to look up. You can also drop down whenever you need to, but it is much harder for the enemy that is on the ground to get up to high ground unless they use their abilities. In gunfights, you rarely want to spend time reloading your weapon. Instead, swap to your secondary and finish off the enemy with that weapon. Even if your secondary isn't great, it is still better than reloading in most scenarios. Extended magazines not only give you more ammo to work with, but it also decreases the reload time with higher tier mags. Whenever you are running around the map, Holster your weapon to increase your movement speed. Use movement tech more often in Apex Legends. Most players already know how to use a variety of movement tricks. However, they don't implement it quite often enough in their gameplay. Simple movement tricks like wall bouncing will still catch enemies off guard as not many players actually use them in matches. Use your teammates knockdown shields as additional cover. The shield will curve towards you making it easy for you to shoot over, but difficult for the enemy to shoot you. Increase your FOV. With a higher FOV, you can see more of your surroundings, ensuring you don't miss anything important when you're looking around. I recommend keeping your FOV somewhere between 90 to 110. Some weapons can open and close doors by shooting them. Use this to get shots off onto your enemies inside of buildings without ever having to run up and open the door. You can also use this to close doors if you don't want to run towards them, or if you just need to sit on another door and close the other one because someone's trying to enter. Hold down the ping input to give more precise information to your teammates. Keep an eye on the feed in the top right of your screen. It will tell you if someone's armor is broken and what legend they are playing. Use this information to prioritize who you are shooting at during a team fight. If the loot on the ground is floating, it means somebody nearby is using Loba's Black Market. Every time you open up a loot pill, you receive 5 crafting materials. So if there are no crafting materials nearby but you need to craft something, find some loot pills and open them up. Record your own gameplay. Then in the future, look back at that recording and see how far you have come and see how much you have improved. Forget about these little symbols that indicate the various legend types. They tell you very little about what the legend's actual role is on a team, and it is much better to learn each legend individually. Drop a fresh armor for your teammate before you or someone else revives them. This will allow them to instantly get up to full shield after being revived. If you really want to get better at Apex Legends fast, stop playing rank. You will improve much faster by playing public matches and running at every fight you can. Then if you were to hop into a ranked match and get into one or two fights, in 20 minutes. If you made it this far in the video, go down in the comment section down below and type in Buff Mirage. Play all of the legends in the game, even if you want to focus on only a few of them. This will help you get comfortable with how each legend's abilities are used and their different cooldown time. Then when you play against them with your legend of choice, you will know exactly how to play around their ability. Leave the dropship around 400 to 550 meters from your target destination. This should help you hit the ground before any of your opponents. Stay towards the edge of the ring and work your way in instead of staying in the center. This will prevent you from getting stuck with multiple teams around you where you can't do much to survive. Ping your ultimate in the bottom right of your inventory to inform your teammates on what percentage you are at or to let them know that you already have it. Pay attention to the loot rarity on the top of your screen whenever you're entering a new POI. Use this information to help dictate where you want to be looting and following matches. Don't spend the Apex coins that you receive during the battle pass. Instead, save them up so you can use them to purchase the next season's battle pass for completely free. Use pay to win iron sights to improve your aim when you don't have any optics equipped. This is what I recommend using your crafting materials towards instead of buying a new legend skin. Slide or crouch walk into a jump pad to go further than if you were to sprint onto it. Also sliding and crouch walk can bring you the the same distance on a jump pad so don't stress about getting that slide off. Choose one or two of your favorite POIs to drop at on each map. Become a master at these locations and orient your legend picks towards them. Ping where you're planning to land so you can see the distance you are from it. Then go back to tip 70 to drop at the perfect time. Instead of rushing a reviving Newcastle to shoot him in the back, let him revive and then instantly knock the player again. Keep on doing this until Newcastle gives you an easy opportunity to take him out of the fight. Just don't do this if Newcastle happens to have a gold knockdown shield, as the enemy he revives is going to have shield and health making it really hard to win that fight. Never double kick a door an enemy is playing on unless you have a strategy lined up with your teammates. More often than not, kicking a door down in front of an enemy will get you eliminated. Play 
play with the same players as much as possible. This will allow you to develop synergy with them and you will improve much faster together. Look at what legends and skins the champions are using. Then if you see them in a match, you can understand that you're going to have a tough battle and play accordingly. Always keep in mind the damage you need to level up to your next Evo shield. And if you are close to the next level, then instead of rushing into your next fight, play from afar until you level it up and then push with an extra 25 HP. Use red armor instead of gold armor the majority of the time. The only exceptions are if you have no shield batteries or you're using the sentinel charge up trick from tip 22. After a fight, loot up as quick as possible. As in Apex Legends, there's almost always a third party waiting just around the the corner. Randomly throw hollow sprays around the map. You'd be surprised at how often players will like them and reveal their location to you. At the time of recording this video, there are 28 weapons, or 29 if you include the throwing knife. Pick a few of your favorite weapons and stick with them as much as possible. Even pro players you will see running the same 3 or 4 weapons all of the time. Combo your abilities with your teammates. From throwing your knuckle clusters into Horizon's black hole, to jump padding and revenant's death protection, there are plenty of legend abilities you can combo for great value in the game. Slide often while running to move at maximum speed. Most players already know to do this, but they don't implement it quite as much as they should. Don't be afraid to back out of a fight if you don't have the resources to win it. Wait a little bit and look for opportunities to arise where you can re-enter the fight without getting yourself eliminated. Constantly strafe back and forth even when you don't think anybody is watching you. Use your abilities often as they are no use in your pocket, and they might just help you get the win. Get used to the layout of your inventory as the order is always Always the same. Spend time learning the bullet drop for your favorite weapons. Different weapons have different levels of bullet drop, so make sure you practice with a few of your favorites. Constantly look for third party opportunities. Third partying a team fight means that everyone is going to be low health, making it an easy cleanup for you. There will also be twice as much loot for you to pick up. Always keep your sound effects volume at 100%. So enemy footsteps are as loud as possible. If you find it too loud, then instead of lowering your sound effects volume, lower your master volume. Use your microphone to communicate with your teammates, even if they aren't talking back. If you don't want to use your microphone, then at least use the ping system to convey important information. If you really want to try hard, then choose a darker colored legend skin so it's harder for your enemies to see you in game. Always check your minimap when you're running around the map so you know where your teammates are and you can stay as one unit. Whenever you're running away from enemies, throw a grenade straight up into the sky to discourage them from chasing you. If they do chase you, then there's a good chance they get hit by that grenade. Those are 100 tips and tricks in Apex Legends. But if you're a solo queue and you're going to want to watch this video on the top 8 solo queue legends in Apex Legends.